When I think of the job of trademark attorney, I think of someone resolving a dispute over two logos that look too much alike. And that's what I thought, until a new breed of attorney showed me that you can use trademarks to shut down drug counterfeiters. It turns out that many elements of a medicine, including the tablet itself, the container, and the packaging, are all part of a trademark. When criminals fake counterfeits like these, like in these fake placebo blood thinners sold in Mexico, they're committing a crime, but also a trademark violation. Even the new class of counterfeiters who have been caught putting random pills into empty reused bottles of HIV medication are committing a trademark violation as well as a patient endangerment crime. And now, some trademark attorneys are using the law to go after the counterfeiters and doing this on behalf of the trademark holders using civil litigation. That's why we were so excited last week to file comments with the US Patent and Trademark Office which was asking people to talk to them about any counterfeiting strategies using trademark and patent law. What we're seeing is a beautiful public-private pri partnership where trademark holders are suing drug counterfeiters and gathering evidence for those big civil judgments. The same evidence is then used by prosecutors who want to bring criminal charges right behind them. Our letter to the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office covers this, and also an area in which we see unrealized potential for trademark enforcement the open sale of trademark pill molds online. If you'd like to read our letter to the USPTO or learn more about the largest counterfeit case we've ever worked on that's become a trademark infringement case, visit this page on our website.